Hi, in this video, we're going to look at how to create a simple parallax effect on a web page using just HTML and CSS code. So in this example here, I've got a home page with a big banner or hero image. Uh, and in the center here, I've got a button. When I mouse over, it has a little transition effect there for the background color. And uh, when I scroll down, we've got this parallax effect. So we have this white background div which moves over this image which is staying still and then we have another image that reveals in the background here another button uh, another div here with some text different color uh, and then another completely different background image here with another button and some more text below so we've got three different images which are showing here uh, the images aren't moving at all they're staying still but just appearing at different points uh, when I scroll down the page uh, but all the text is moving as well and, and there's um, a bit of opacity there as well that's um, been set so that uh, the images are kind of um, a little bit washed out or a bit grayed out. Okay so that's that's the example there now I'm going to show you how to implement this using just HTML and CSS code so there's no JavaScript or any other code required at all. All right, so this is the blank page. Uh, if we have a look at the folder here, I've got my three images, banner one, banner two, banner three. So these are just PNG images. All right, so those are the three images. And I've got two files, my home page, index.html, and my uh, external style sheet, style.css. And this is the web page here. So if we go back, if we open up the uh, code, I've got, um, index.html here. So I've already added the HTML tags. I've got my head section here. I've got uh, this line here, meta name equals viewport, content width equals device width and initial scale equals one. I've got the title of the page and here is the link to my external uh, style sheet. So uh, style.css, which is open here in this other tab, but it's empty. All right, and then I've got the body section here. So what we'll do first is we're going to create a few divs for the different sections of the page. So if we go back and have a look at the example, we've got this um, background image here with a the button. Then we've got a div containing some content, um, like welcome content. Then we've got another div containing a second background and a button. Another div with some more content, so it might be about this website. Uh, another image with a, another button and then some more content down the bottom. So let's first just create the, the structure of the page. We'll just create the divs uh, for the different images and content and then we'll move into the CSS code to style all of that and, and apply the par parallax effect. So what I'll do first is I'll create uh, a div for the first background image. And so I'll create a class for this div so I can apply a theme to it and I'll just call it background one. And in this div, I'm also going to have um, a button that I want to be centered in the middle. So I've got this background image, and then in the middle, I want this um, button to be centered in the middle of that image on top of it. So I'll create another div to contain the button. And I'm going to um, have a few buttons. So I'll create a class that I can reuse um, for the three buttons that are going to be on the page. And then for each button, it's just a link. So um, this button's just going to say uh, "getting start" or "get started." Um, so it might take you to another page where you can maybe sign up for an account or something like that. So I'll just call that "start HTML." I don't have that other web page created yet, but um, we can just put in a link to another page that we'll create. And then uh, I'm going to give this uh, link. Uh, it's going to be a, a. It's not going to be a regular link. It's going to be a button with a border around it, a box. So give this a class name as well, a button, so we can uh, apply a theme to that. And it's just going to say "get started." Okay. So that's our first div there for um, the first background image and button. And we'll create another div below that, and this one's going to be called "welcome." Uh, so that's for this little welcome section here, this text content. Okay, and in here we'll have a heading at the top and it uh, can just say something like welcome to our website and 
and we'll give this a class as well because we'll apply a theme to this um, type of heading that we can reuse on the page. Let's call the class heading. Uh, we'll add some text as well. Just paste in this uh, sample text here. Um, paste in any text you like. And um, that's the end of that div actually. So just it's just basically um, a heading and a, a paragraph of text there. All right, so then we're gonna have our second background. Now um, we can pretty much just copy and paste the first background div that we created. So just copy and paste it there. I'm gonna call this one background two though. So make sure you give it a different class name. If you want it to have a different theme, like maybe a different background color. We can still use the same button div class and the same button class for the actual button because that theme is going to be consistent. But this button or link, instead of being get get instead of being get started, this one might be it might say about us, and then that can link to another page called about.html. So that's the second background div. Uh, then we can have another um, another div below that. For some more content. Um, now this one, it's not going to be quite the same as the welcome div. It's just going to be some text, just any text, not necessarily any headings or anything like that. Um, and just spread out across the page. And then similar at the bottom here, but that one's going to be white. So uh, we can create another div here. All right, I'll give this one a class as well. Uh, I'm just going to call this wrapper. And um, then in there, we're going to create another div for the actual um, about content, the about text. So div class equals about. And in there, just create a paragraph and oops, uh, actually I'll just copy this existing paragraph. Paste some text in there. So, uh, Oops, probably should just fix this bit up here. So I've got the wrapper div and then the about div and then a paragraph in here, which we'll just replace with um, exist, reuse the existing paragraph we have before. Okay, so this wrapper div is going to create, contain another div inside it that is specifically for um, content about, it's going to be an about section. So it might contain some information about the company um, so we won't reuse the about div again, but we will reuse the div, the wrapper div again in a moment. All right, um, time for another background image. So I copy the background two that we created before, make some space and paste that in. Rename this one to background three. This one can be, um, this button can be for contact us. All right, so if we just go back to the existing example that we have here. We've just added the about content div and now we're adding the um, contact us uh, uh, background three. So it's, it's going to have this background image and the contact us button. And then we'll, the last thing that we'll do in the HTML is just add um, a div for the contact us content. Okay, so that looks good there. We've got our third background and contact us button there. So now we can create another div at the bottom uh, and we can reuse the one that we just made prior to this one. We can reuse that wrapper class, but this one's just going to be called contact. All right. So that's all the HTML code that we need so far. I'll link it in the video so you can copy and use this code. Um, but that's, that's pretty much all the HTML that we need. So now um, we can go and have a look at this page that I've just created. And this is what it's going to look like so far. So a link for get started, welcome section, uh, about us button or link, and then the about us content section, contact us button, uh, contact us link or button, and then the contact us content or text. So these are all the different divs here that we've just added. And now we need to start specifying the background images and apply a theme to sort of um, arrange all of this content nicely and, and apply that, that parallax effect. So if we head over to the CSS code, style.css, first thing that we're going to need to do is apply some CSS uh, code to the body and HTML of the page. 
So we can type in body, comma, HTML. And what we'll do is we'll set the height to 100%. We'll get rid of any margin that might be on the page. So we'll say margin zero, just so there's no white strip around the edges of the page or the window. And uh, I'm just going to use for now the same font for the whole the whole page. So all text content will be Arial font family, um, but you can be more specific and use different fonts across your page later. All right. So going back to the web page, now everything should be Arial font, and we can see that there's no uh, margin anymore. The text is touching the edge of the page, which is not what we want, but we just wanted to get rid of the white strip around the edge. So that's fixed. Okay. So now we can apply uh, a theme to the different background sections. So background one, background two, and background three. So those sections are these uh, three images here. That's background one, that's background two, that's background three. Some of the code for this, it's going to be the same for all of the backgrounds. Oops. So this is actually a class, remember, so we need to say dot background one, comma, dot background two, comma, and then dot background three. Some of this code's going to apply to all three backgrounds. So position relative is really important. We need that and opacity. Um, this is optional, but this is just what kind of washes out the background images a little bit so that they can contrast a bit better with any text or buttons that are in, in front of them. We'll say background attachment fixed background, position, center, background, repeat, no repeat, and then background, size, cover. So this is what's going, it's basically what this is going to do is make sure that when we scroll the page, the backgrounds don't move, the divs move on top of them, but the background images don't move. But um, when we scroll down to the different parts of the page that the different backgrounds appear at different times uh, and that the background's filling the width and not repeating across the page um, and it's just in, in there in fixed positions. Okay, now that applies to all the backgrounds, but now we're gonna have to apply some specific code to each background individually and that is so that we can specify different images for each background so for the first um, for the first background I've got uh, an image it's called um, banner1.png double check that if we go back to the folder yep banner1 it's a png image so background image URL banner1.png I'm going to set the minimum height <coughs> to 100%, okay, we can go and uh, refresh this page and now that's what we see. And actually some of it, it's already starting to come together, but you can see that this first background, it's filling 100% uh, of the page there. So it's, it's occupying that full space there. And then when we scroll down, we'll start to see the other content. The get start started button is up here in the top corner. So we'll fix that shortly. But let's just go and add the other backgrounds first. So background two, we'll specify um, for that an image as well. We'll just copy that. Oops, wrong place. Copy that and <laughs> banner2.png instead. This one though, minimum height, it's gonna be a little bit different. I don't want the other backgrounds to fill the, the height of the page. Um, so I'm going to specify about 350 pixels and actually it's going to be the same for background three. So we'll just copy and paste, rename this class to background three, use banner3.png and uh, this can be same, same sort of uh, height, minimum height. Okay, let's save that, go back and refresh and this is what we see so far. So as we scroll, we do see the three different images appear at different times, um, but there's a bit more to do still. Okay, so let's move on to the button div. All right, so remember that in each of those, on top of each of those backgrounds, we have divs containing 
are buttons. And the div's called button div, and then the buttons are just called button. So I've got three of those each. So we'll just in here reference the uh, the button div class, and this is going to be position absolute top fifty percent. So what this means is it's going to center uh, in the middle. It's going to stick to the middle of um, that div right in the center. All right, so you can see it's now in the center vertically, that div. And when we scroll, it, it moves um, it moves up like that. Uh, we can also specify width, 100%, text align, center. Uh, and we'll just make the color black for now. Uh, oh, this is a link, so it's not actually changing the color of the link, but we'll get there shortly. So now the link's in the middle there, and all of the links are actually in the center of those uh, background divs. Okay, um, but remember, each of these links, so the about link, uh, the contact link, and actually a bit further up, the get started link, they all use the button class. All right, so let's now in CSS create that class that we've referenced in our HTML code. And um, we'll do a little thing here. We can say text transform uppercase. So this actually, this makes the text all in uppercase letters. Okay, we'll do text decoration none. That gets rid of the links, or the, sorry, the underline under um, each bit of text. And we'll add a border, a nice thick border, two pixels, solid um, line, and we'll make the border white. Uh, we'll make the text for the link, whoops. Make the text of the link white as well. We'll add a little bit of padding uh, inside this um, button. So if we refresh so far, that's now a button that's got no underline there and there's padding. So we've got a border, but there's padding around the text. So the space between the text and the uh, border. Okay, so that's, uh, that's our padding. And then we'll say, um, make it a bit bigger as well. Font size. 22, and we'll space the letters out as well, eight pixels. Okay, there we go, nicely spaced out, nice and big. Um, but you might've noticed before on the other example, if we go back to that, when I mouse over the button changes color, it's nice transition there. So we can add that too. Um, we just say button hover, so when it's in the hover state and mouse is hovering over the button, we can change the background color. I've already got a color that I chose before. It's a nice like, dark gray. Specify a transition now. I'm just gonna say one second for that little transition effect. And uh, we'll make the opacity uh, 0 0.5 or 50% so that when we mouse over, we we'll refresh this one now, when we mouse over, it grays out, but you can still see the image in the background there. All right, you can still see that. Okay, um, so we've got our hover effect there for the buttons. All right, now for the heading, just here, um, let's let's go and justify this text so it's nice and spread out across the page, and we'll center the heading and, and capitalize that as well. So we did have a class for the heading here. Welcome to our website, it uses the heading class. So let's now add some code for that. You can add some letter, letter spacing to this as well. Make it uppercase like we did for the links or the buttons. We'll center the heading as well and um, color black. All right, just like that. Now, this is the um, welcome content here, and then we've got the about content, and then we've got the contact us content. So what we can do is justify uh, that text. So let's apply it to the welcome class, which we have uh, here. 
got all this text content in the heading. Let's give it a different background color. Got one that I've already used before. Um, change the background color for this one to white. Text align, we'll go center just like we did for the heading, um, but we'll also, um, we can do actually, so we'll add some padding, 60 pixels um, for the top and the bottom, 50 pixels for the right and the left. Now that just centers the text like that, but you can also do um, text justify, oops, sorry, text align justify. which rather than just centering the text like that, it actually spreads it out across the page like that. So you've got two options there that you can work with depending on what you like. Um, so I'll just leave both lines of code in there for now and you can delete one or the other. All right, uh, let's do the same sort of thing for the about class. So that's the, uh, that's the next section, next content or text section. So I'll copy and paste the welcome class and just rename the, the copy to about. Um, this one's gonna have the same same background color, oh, sorry, the same text color, but a different background color. It's gonna be a dark background color. All right, so uh, the one that I used before, this color up here for the, um, when the buttons are hovered over and they change background color, we'll use that same dark background color for this about section, just to give some contrast on the page. Um, and everything else there will be the same, the text alignment and padding. So save and refresh. There we go, this section's white and this section is a dark gray. Okay, that text there could actually be a bit, a bit lighter. Um, if we wanted, just lighten that a little bit. I think that's a bit better. All right, okay. Copy and paste again, because we've still got one more div. This one's called contact. Um, the color, we can use the same dark color that we used for the background color in the previous div, um, but this time we can use it for the text instead and um, background color of white. So a little bit different again, um, but everything else still the same there, the text alignment and the padding. So now if we scroll down, we've got another white div here with dark text. So a few different different styles there. Okay, and that's actually um, pretty much it. Um, one more thing, I'll just say dot wrapper, which is um, the div that contains the about and the contact divs. We'll just say um, for that, position relative, save and refresh that. All right, now let's look at this page. So we've got a nice hover effect on the buttons here and this nice big image occupying the, the whole height of the page. And we scroll down, we see the welcome to our website section. We see the about us button, some about content, contact us button and then uh, the final uh, content down the bottom, which might be contact details and so on. So that's it. That's how you add a, a nice, uh, a simple, but quite effective parallax effect to um, a homepage. Thanks for watching.